Welcome to Pitfall, The Lost Expedition, the game that my uncle got for me when I was just a little kid. The main setting in Pitfall is in the jungle with our protagonist. Who are you? Harry. Most people call me <laughs> Pitfall Harry. After his plane was struck by lightning, he gave the last parachute to this lady, who he later learned to be called Nicole. This is most likely for some booby points. This leaves him with Bitten Binder, the old guy. Soon, Harry wakes up and he starts exploring the jungle and he sees these holes in the grounds, which resembles mouths, which eats you and spits you out. And let me fucking tell you, playing this as a kid genuinely terrified me. Once you go deeper into the jungle, you meet this jaguar, whose name is Quicklaw. Huh? He can also talk. No need for thanks. Oh, part of the job. You can talk. Some jags have what it takes. As you venture out a bit more, Quick Claw gives you the paper that teaches you about the Super Run Technique. After learning about the Super Run Technique, you can now run faster and even traverse across lava just by running. My name is Barry Allen and I am the fastest man alive! Even though this game was really special to me, I don't want to talk about the whole story, instead I'll just talk about the things that stood out most to me during this playthrough. Now that I'm older, playing this game has really been a trip down memory lane. The thing that stuck out most to me ever since my first time playing this game as a kid was the snow portion of the game where you had to go sled him. The other thing that also stuck out to me during this playthrough is that this game is fucking confusing as shit. This game doesn't give you directions or a detailed map of how you got where or where you currently are. So most of the time, there's just going to be an X on your map that you're supposed to go to, but since you're bad at video game like me, and have no sense of directions at all, you're gonna get lost 99% of the time when you go through a route. I spent 4-5 to five hours generally being lost because I kept choosing the wrong route, and whenever I opened my map, I got even further away from where I'm supposed to be. How the fuck? What do you mean I'm farther away? One of the complaints I have about this game is the underwater hurt boxes. I was nowhere near you! I was no I was nowhere fucking near you, man! One of the funniest things about this game is that you can just fucking slam onto a crocodile and he'll only hiss at you for a bit. Although I did thoroughly enjoyed my playthrough of this game, I do have one thing to say. This game is genuinely a horror game with the crocodiles seizing their moments to snatch you up like the robber that's currently in your home right now. The only thing that was terrifying about this game is the crocodiles cause holy shit are they fucking quick. See right here? You probably think that it's fucking dead because you cannot see the crocodile anymore. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, catch one of these. By returning Princess Mike to that, that was a female. You've done a great thing. How can I help you, Harry? I've been by your village. I think they're worried about you. I just wanted some butterflies. Ah! Oh! Thanks for the moral support during the fight. Couldn't have you die. 
How would I get out of the tree? Next time you get stuck, just call my name. I'll be sure not to come. Hey, any spooky animal spirit still around? Taken care of. Hmm. What's it say? Something about a prop. So with these clunky controls and character models who have some really, really big hands, I'm really glad this was the game I grew up with. Though I never been as a kid, during this playthrough, I realized that I got really, really close to beating the game. That's all for this video. See you next time, maybe? I don't know.